Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Print Zone 123. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the different types of platform adhesion. Um, so, I'm here in Cura, I have a model open, this is the Incredible Hulk, and we're going to look right here, and this is where we have our settings for our platform adhesion type. So I'm going to go over the three different uh, adhesions you have. So, the first one is skirt, the second one is brim, and the third one is raft. So by default, if you select none under platform adhesion type, this is going to add the skirt. So that's by default. So let me go over here to layers and um, I can better explain what each of these three are. So we can see here, if we zoom in, what a skirt is, is basically just a single layer. This light blue line is representing the skirt and all this is going to do is ensure that you have a nice even layer of filament before you go in and actually do your inner and outer shell and fill in your part on the first layer. So what's nice about using the skirt is you can use it as a benchmark. So if the skirt does not come out well, then you might as well just um, turn your printer off and uh, adjust your settings and reprint again because if the skirt doesn't come out well, your print is not going to uh, stick well to the to the print bed and um, you, you may have some issues as it starts to print. So as a first pass, this is a really good thing to, to use to, to know how the quality of your print is going to come out. Um, the second type of platform adhesion, if you select here, you can go to brim. So what brim is going to do is it's going to add a couple outer shells that just barely touch, they barely kiss your part, just so enough to uh, help give you a little bit extra support when you're printing the first layer. So we're going to let this load uh, load here so we can take a look. So these are our inner and outer shells of our part and what we're going to see is some additional layers. I believe um, you can adjust this setting but typically you want uh, maybe three to five layers so here they just populated. So these blue lines now show it's going to add these extra layers just to help keep your print down and um, make sure that these first inner and outer shells really um, stick well to the print bed and that's going to help you uh, overall get a better quality print. And the last option here is called a raft. So what a raft is going to do is actually create a platform for your print to build upon. So instead of just um, bordering your print like a brim or a skirt would do, a raft is actually going to lay filament down on the bottom of the print bed and you, so in this case in the Hulk's feet they're not going to actually print right onto your print bed they're going to print on top of this raft. So let's let this uh, load for a second and then we'll be able to see what I'm talking about there. So one thing to note with the raft is that after you print your part you're going to have to peel away the raft and break uh, break the raft off from the part. So let's give this just a second here. Looks like it's still loading. My computer is going slightly slow right now. Um, another thing to notice to note about the raft is um, when you peel it off sometimes the bottom of your print uh, will be a little coarse so that's one thing to keep in mind where if you care about um, the you know the bottom layer of the print just to uh, you know keep that in mind so here we can see uh, the raft is now showing up as our first layer so what it's going to do is um, create this first layer and if we skip up let me go up uh, a layer or two a couple layers so we could see here at layer three um, this is where our raft is stopping and if we go up you know just a little bit more we could see the foot is now going to start um, to print on top of this raft. So this really acts as an interface between your print bed and object and it can really you know also help to uh, to get some platform adhesion. So these are the three different types. For most prints I'll just go ahead set this to none and use a default skirt for my print. Um, I find that if I get that single line around my print if that comes out well typically my print um, 
will adhere well to the print bed and I'll have no problems. Um, sometimes if I download someone else's model, they may recommend to use Brim or Raft and I'll typically just uh, follow their recommendation and use whatever platform adhesion they say. So I hope this uh, lesson was helpful to you. If you haven't done so already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I post a lot of other tutorials and 3D printing tips. And I also uh, post a lot of 3D print time lapse videos, which are pretty neat. So again, subscribe, like the video if you like it. And if you have any questions or comments, please put those in the comment section below. Thank you and have a great day.